Hello, so we are back in this time. We have a camera to review. Now, this is not a paid advertising. I just bought the camera because I found it on AliExpress. So you can see I paid for the camera 125 pounds and it's just too good to be true. I mean, on my camera, the microscope camera, I pay like 500 or 600 pounds for for same quality. They claim to be like 4K and 60 FPS. And for some reason, I don't understand. There are cameras with like 120, 125, what I paid, then 260. I mean, this is a wide range of prices, and I don't know why. That's why I want to review this camera and uh, see if indeed, yeah, 124 pounds. You can buy the 124. Yeah, 8K. So they claim it's 8K, like 20 FPS. Let me click on it. AK 20 FPS, 4K 60 FPS. So we are looking for 4K, obviously, because of 60 FPS. But of course, if you need more resolution, even 20 FPS is decent if you need like AK. Uh, the camera comes with a new uh, Sony sensor. So I'm proper curious if we should switch to this camera or not. They are saying performance breakthrough. Now let's try to compare with my one. And see if indeed, uh, you know, it's that good. Because if it's that good, <laughs> for like, 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 what, for 125, so I like 4K 60 FPS. I mean, again, for me, it's too good to be true. But anyway, let's test it. Uh, again, this is a honest review. I'm not giving you links from where to buy it. Buy it from where, uh, wherever you find it. But probably AliExpress will be the cheaper one the cheapest one we have the hdmi cable and we have a usb-c some assuming is taking power for the usb-c and here is the camera 125 pound camera and ah lol actually has a foil there so uh, yeah for the dust right and if we are taking the foil out, then we have the sensor, which is kind of small, right? 1.8. Hmm. Okay, what I'm looking to test, yeah, because probably all are sharp, you know what I mean? It's about, it is working 4K uh, 60 FPS, like indeed it has 60 FPS and 4K. Then I'm looking for the dynamic range yeah that's very important then another thing i'm looking for is the low light performance okay so i'm gonna grab a board i'm gonna put the board under my camera i'm gonna do some uh, you know i'm gonna take some screenshots and i will compare with that one okay in this test i'm gonna take out my polarization filter yeah you can see i can uh, i can get rid of the reflection check out here on the top of the the charging port so if i cancel the polarization filter is like that and you can see the details are gone from the top of the port just because it's too much light so i'm gonna leave it like that because this is a fair test so it is on focus so i'm gonna take a print screen then low light let's see so this is low light. My one is still uh, still decent. And not sure if it's point to take. This is without any light. Okay. So let me grab a screenshot. Perfect. It's time to swap the camera. Hmm? Wait. Here we have some buttons. Um. Okay, also we have a card there, but we don't need something like that. We need HDMI and USB-C. Good. Let me put the camera on top of the microscope. So, HDMI. Then, how can I take this camera out? Perfect. I mean, probably, you know what? 
Even on my one, the sensor is small. I mean, the sensor are kind of the same, right? Kind of. Or my one is actually smaller. Anyway, let me put this camera here on top. And I can't because I don't have an adapter. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that sucks. We don't have the adapter. So it was saying the camera is coming with C mount, but this is C mount and it's not working. So what we are doing wrong? So we have the USB C, good. And on the microscope we have what? We have picture. Yeah. Okay, you know what I did? I just put a camera here, and here I have an adjustable focus ring. So uh, the camera is just sitting there like a duck, and uh, yeah, we can compare it. So we do have picture. Uh -huh. Now the camera it is sharp. I can't say anything wrong about the sharpness. Um, but the light performance is not very great. Or maybe I can make it brighter. But anyway, the, the dynamic range, it's insane. I mean, check here. You can proper see the writing on the charging port. Let me spin the ring. So if I spin my polarization ring, yeah, I can take out completely the reflections. But the test has to be done like this, right? Yeah. Good. Let me bring some brightness. Or maybe I can do it from the camera menu. Huh? So we have the menu. And then we have exposure auto quality. Okay. And we have up and down or not. And we can make it brighter. Check that. Yeah. 70. Oh, now it's beautiful. Maybe less. Yeah, for some reason the, the picture start start being washed out. You can see it. It's losing contrast if you increase the brightness. But we can increase the contrast also. Okay, so now it's better, right? We put some contrast, some brightness. No, actually, now we need more brightness. Okay, something like that, right? It is on focus. The 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 the, the image is proper sharp. Huh? So what do you think? Let me let me let me close the menu. Uh, it is four K. Let me check if it's four K. Okay, so on my uh, on my capture uh, capture card, I have other media um, capture card. Source info is saying 4K 60 FPS, so it is 4K. The camera indeed has 60 FPS. Yeah, you can see. I mean, yeah, it is 60. Looks like 60, right? Yeah. Okay, let me grab, let me be sure the polarization filter is, I mean, if I put a polarization filter, I mean, I can see, you know, even the writing on the chip, you can see. So taking out the polarization, then it's still distant. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some screenshots from here, and we're going to compare with the other camera. I mean, here is like the proper focus. Okay. Good. Let me grab a screenshot. Then we took a picture without the light, this big light, like this. So the, this is only the light from the polarization filter. I'm going to take a screenshot. And then we said we no light at all. 
I can't believe I still have picture. That's crazy. Okay, wait. Uh, we made the print screens. I will say let's compare them. I mean, this is a little bit crazy. It's not that much contrast on the picture. But the dynamic range clearly superior. So check here, you can see the details from the port. But not with my one. With my one, the, the details are not there. You, only you can see the writing and that's all. So the dynamic range is better compared with my one. I believe I can add some contrast and I can, uh, you know, change the color, um, the white balance in order to bring the... Actually, if I'm looking, probably the white balance is like this. Uh, definitely, this uh, this is a winner, yeah, this picture, just because of the dynamic range. Uh, what is strange, and this is proper weird, and I don't know why. So, here is better, okay? We said it's better. But if you check the crystal, I can see the writing here, but I cannot see the writing here. This is kind of strange. It is possible because I don't have a mount. I just put the camera on top. It is possible we have some, uh, you know, some light, which is coming uh, under the from under the camera because we don't have a mount. It is possible. Then low light. This is my one, and this is AK low light. Again, even on low light, the AK one is a winner. You can see the, the charging port, the top of the charging port. Yeah, here are the details, here are not. Then uh, no light. So this is my way, no light. And this is the AK where uh, I still have something. Probably I can increase the brightness, even my one. But he's making a point. At this moment, uh, I really believe the AK one is better. And I want to use it for myself. Now, what you are seeing on the screen is not a 4K because my video is downscaled to 2.5K. 2.5601440. But yeah, you know what? I have add. But this is by, you know, because of my camera, I add some sharpness on uh, on the recording software. Maybe if I take the sharpness out, we can have here a better pitch. One second. So I'm going to take out, it is on focus. Yeah. I'm going to take out the sharpness. Uh, yeah. So now it's off. Is anything better? No, really. Oh, now it's better. Okay, so what's changed then? I uh, switch off the polarizer light. So when the light is on, okay, the polarizer light is near to the to the lens of the microscope. So the light is going down, then it's coming straight up. But if I bring the polarizer light, the polarizer, I bring it on. So now it's on. <laughs> now it's perfect. You know what? This is a perfect uh, uh, image quality. No reflection. So I have like three lights here. Yeah. So I have the one from the polarizer and two more here on the sides. So I have three lights and I have no reflection from the motherboard. It's just, you know, pure... Uh, uh, brightness. We do have some shadows. You see, we have shadows on the sides because of the size light. Yeah. But the camera is brilliant. And again, yeah, my camera. Well, let me let me find my camera. This one. So this one I pay four hundred pounds. Sorry, but I think with the um, with the custom fee, I, I think it's like four hundred fifty. Yeah. So this is my one, which I bought it in twenty twenty three. Okay, fair enough, for like two years difference. So, uh, this is insane for £125 to buy this kind of quality. Now, here is the deal, okay? Yeah, of course it's a deal. I'm not doing video for free. So, the deal is, I gave you the review, okay? 
you gave me the mount I have to use it for this camera okay do do, do the research and leave me uh, leave me a comment please yeah leave me a comment and tell me what mount I should buy can you do that for me no I don't have time because you know Diablo 4 new season yeah Uh, again, mechanic didn't disappoint. Uh, in one hand, you know, the camera was too cheap to be true. But on the other hand, it's mechanic. And they always like, uh, you know, they have like good quality stuff. C-mount. I, I, I thought, you know, this one is C-mount. It's not C-mount. My focus ring is this one. So I have a focus ring. This is proper nice. You, I can change the focus. You can see. I think I have a video where I... Uh, share the the focus ring actually are kind of the same oh, nearly yeah but my one has like threads here hmm. this one doesn't cool yeah just share uh let me know from where i can buy the mount so we can um, you know swap the camera from my microscope I can't say anything wrong even about this one. This was a proper nice one. Yeah, and you have UVC so you can uh, have video on the USB, actually. You don't need HDMI. Yeah, even this one was proper nice. Opening and checking what's it's inside, huh? You know, optimizing the camera, right? That's what uh, you are waiting for, huh? Not sure how, how I can open this. Maybe someone else it will figure it out. Yeah, brilliant camera. I didn't expect that. So you will get better dynamic range and uh, better low light performance. Slightly better compared with that one. Because the low light performance comes from the pixel size, you know, the sensor size and stuff like that. Cool. I'm going to stop here. I'll say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button. And you can get instantly access to our members-only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay, where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.